guys welcome to today's video i apologize if the lighting is funky down here it is a very sunny day outside i usually record in front of like my windows and it is like super super sunny it's usually kind of cloudy so we got some weird lighting but it's fine today i just washed my hair so my hair is wet i did not put on, on any makeup because i wanted to get the full experience today we are testing out the milk makeup ceramic hair dryer so this hair dryer is kind of weird i wanted to try it out because it promises anti-frizz so like no frizz hair dryer isn't that weird i mean especially if you have like bleached hair or really thick curly hair like i do that seems like kind of nearly impossible am i right so i just got out of the shower and my hair is like has been bleached before so it dries very quickly i did want to do like a bear run but my hair gets like super dry and like breaks if i blow dry it without any product in it so i did go ahead and spray the redken one united spray it's just like an all-in-one leave-in treatment after you get out of the shower it's supposed to help with hair drying stuff uh so we're gonna use that today and let's unbox this thing i mean do you see this okay so their packaging is like super simplistic and like as a designer i really really love it you see you see like the hollow tape i love it there is hollow on the outside of their shipping box too the shipping box that they sent but let's just like unbox this and i peeked in here earlier and like just like so this is what it comes in i mean really bare packaging um there is a manual in here that i'll check out but this smell it literally like this is so weird guys it smells like chlorine and all their products are supposed to be like vegan whatever organic like they're supposed to be like good for you products but um this just like has a really overpowering smell i don't know if it's like the plastic or the actual product but like <coughs> just smells like chlorine and like swimming pool but i am not gonna let that stop me today this is supposed to be like a fast drying hair dryer as well as an anti-frizz hair dryer so let's see how it works all right so already checking this out this cord is super long which is gonna be perfect because i'm like i would say i'm about four feet away from the outlet right now and i'm gonna have like plenty of room to like get all around my head getting this all right in this i think it is the hair <laughs> Alright, I just finished up the first layer. It seems like it's not, I don't know. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Just wanna note this. So if you hit, the button it says cold. So if you press in this button, it doesn't say cool. So these three heat settings, they say, here, I'll show you. So these three heat settings here say cool, warm, and hot. And if you're on cool, it's not as cold as if you press in cold. See, I was on I think I was on warm. So I was on the warm setting and once I felt my hair getting a little bit, you know, dry on the dry side, I switched to cold so that I could actually feel if it was moist or not. Um, and my, it was, it's like actual cold air. It's like so cool. <laughs> it's like actually really cool. It's like really cold air. So I'm gonna go through one more time on the cold setting um, just to make sure everything is good to go. All right, so I'm actually now going to go right at like my temple area and just like stipple grab hair right like that to the back of my head, like right at the top. And 
All right, so this next layer actually really dried down faster than our bottom layer, which I don't know how I feel about that. That's actually pretty funky to me, but um, I guess we'll find out during the next layer what's up. And I'm actually like, of course, my hair has been bleached before and colored before, so you could see like little frizzy sticking out, but this is actually not as bad as it usually is when I blow dry my hair. So I am, I am pretty impressed. All right, so I'm just gonna start sectioning off the last sections. This entire top layer is still pretty wet. So let's get started on that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even add at the beginning. So this hair dryer retails for $80. I did pick this up last week. They were having a $50 off sale. So I got it for $30. I would just like sign up for their email notifications, uh, you know, their mailing list to uh, keep an eye out for specials on this. Cause like, even though this might not be like the holy grail hair dryer, um, for $30 for a hair dryer, if you're in need of a new one, which I definitely was, it's, that's not a bad price for like a brand new hair dryer at all. Okay, just like, I wanna stop. Do you see that like curl on the front? That's like so pretty. I just created that by taking the brush and kind of like turning it toward my face while I dry, but like, that is like a really pretty wave right there. Mm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Okay, so I have the next level of my hair all dry or mostly dry and I'm gonna say this piece of my hair like right here. I don't know if you could see it. It is super Super frizzy. Oh my gosh. Let me try to like smooth it down real quick but like okay that kind of worked but that is like Ultra frizzy like right here right in the front um, so happen in there anti-frizz hair dryer but I am gonna let down this top layer of hair and we will get into do you see this and we will start drying Okay, you guys, so my hair is mostly dry and with a few just like moist spots up in my roots I just don't want to directly hit my scalp with the air, you know, it's already winter time I don't need any more, you know, like dry skin that would be disgusting, but I, I can't stop touching my hair I'm kind of disappointed. Okay, so I never blow dry my hair just because of how damaged it already is and how frizzy it has a tendency to already get right so <clears throat> When this said anti-frizz hair dryer, I really wanted to try it out for you guys and see how it worked on like previously bleached, you know, colored, really damaged hair for real. So right now what I'm noticing and I'm kind of like the most disappointed about is that the frizziest layer of my hair is the top layer. That is the most important layer of hair. And it might be kind of hard to see on camera, but like there are areas of my hair right here that are just like, so frizzy <laughs> and that probably has to do with you know my hair being damaged bleached colored you know all that good stuff so i'm here to deliver the honest truth to you guys so overall i think if you have no color in your hair no you know no previous bleaching or anything on your hair this product is going to be really amazing for you and at the price of you know like 30 dollars, if you're able to snag it with another 50 dollar off price tag i think it is very worth your while i think this is a great product it's really cool i love i really love the packaging and everything and as I'm using it, the smell that I noticed is going away. I know this is so weird. I'm like sniffing a hair dryer. I don't know if it's like the ceramic technology or what surrounding this product, but I give it, yes, it is a good, awesome product. So if you like this video, if you like me, <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Comment down below. Have you ever used any milk makeup 
products okay i am just like really curious because i kind of want to try out one of their foundations but i'm kind of scared because their stuff is like not cheap <laughs> Okay, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to buy any more things from them, seriously. If you aren't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. I try to post videos every Tuesday and Thursday as well as Saturdays now. I don't know if that's a promise, but sometimes Saturdays. <laughs> um, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.